After months of sending signals about a withdrawal, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo announced he is suspending a key nuclear arms pact with Russia. As Karen Kaifa explains, European allies are wary of what might happen next. For years, Russia has violated the terms of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty without remorse. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo announcing the U.S. suspension of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, or INF, saying Russia hasn't been abiding by the terms for years. When an agreement is so brazenly disregarded and our security is so openly threatened, we must respond. Russia has denied violating the pact, which has been in place since President Reagan and then Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev signed it in 1987. Washington's move not entirely unexpected, but making European allies somewhat anxious. Germany's foreign minister warning without the treaty, there will be less security. Many worried about a new arms race between the U.S. and Russia. These missiles are really the ones that the Russians have are a threat to the European continent. They're not a threat to the America to, to, to North America at all because of the range, no more than 3,000 miles. NATO said in a statement that America's allies support the decision, but urge Russia to take the next six months to return to full and verifiable compliance to preserve the treaty. Some U.S. officials who've advocated an exit from the treaty say it also allows China to gain a military advantage while constraining the U.S. The U.S. will suspend the pact on Saturday and formally withdraw in six months if Russia does not return to compliance. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa.